let's talk about bugs in the garden. Gardening and bugs go hand in hand. And we don't use any sort of pesticides or insecticides in this garden, so we have lots of them. Some are good, some not so good. Obviously, you've got your bees and all the pollinators. Those are great. But if you walk up and down these aisles, you'll see dozens of different types of bugs. Some are doing damage and some are really helpful. So over the last couple of weeks, I took some video of the ones that I've seen and I let you know whether I think it's a good bug or a bad bug. Take a look. I've been wondering when these would show up. Squash bug eggs. If I can get them before they hatch, prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yeah, ha! I finally caught one. There's a cabbage moth. Got it with my butterfly net. It finally rested and I was quick enough to get it. I'm terrible at catching these things. But I got one. One down about... <laughs> 50 more to go. <laughs> it's a losing battle for sure, but eh, I keep trying. Here's another quote unquote bad bug for the garden. Japanese beetles. This is what they do. They eat. Munch, munch, munch. This guy's got in my high tunnel. <laughs> I have mesh all around and still they get in. It's really crazy. Here is yet another garden pest. This is called a harlequin bug. They mush pretty easy, but this is the damage they do. They, they are another muncher. They chew on leaves. Here's another critter I could do without. This is a snail. It's a little guy. I mush them when I see them, and yes, they crunch. Once the plants are established, they don't do as much damage, but boy, they can take off your early starts, which they did this year for me. So yeah, these guys, hopefully the birds help keep them under control. Here is what a Colorado potato beetle looks like in the young adult stage, the nymph stage, something like that. This is where they really eat the leaves down and do some damage. This guy is not gonna make it to an adult. Here's a bad bug in the garden. This green worm is on my collard plant, and that is a cabbage worm. This is what comes from those white moth, butterfly moths, cabbage moths that fly around that I keep trying to catch and keep missing. They create these little green worms that do this to my cabbage and my collards. Bad bug. There's a good guy in the garden. This is actually a ladybug nymph. It's a young ladybug before it turns into the ones that we all recognize. And they eat all sorts of aphids and little bugs. So that's a keeper. Here's another good guy in the garden. This is a wolf spider. They are welcome here. They also eat all sorts of bugs, and I like that. Let's see if I can get this guy. He's been flitting around, taunting me. Just needs to sit down somewhere. Oh, I got him! Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! Bye-bye, cabbage moth. Here's a bad bug in the garden. Colorado potato beetle. He's nowhere near my potatoes, but whatever. Honestly, I haven't really seen them do a whole ton of damage, so there are way worse bugs in the garden. However, I do take these out when I see them. Here's a good guy in the garden. This is called a green lacewing. There. Apparently they 
eat a lot of bad bugs. So they are welcome here. Green lacewing. Hooray! My nemesis has arrived. This is a cucumber beetle. They have decimated my cucumbers and squash, but mostly cucumbers the last two seasons. These guys are bad. They're tough to catch because they fly off real easy, so I can't just smush them when I see them. And the bad thing is, it's not that they eat leaves or the, the fruits or anything, but they carry cucumber mosaic virus. And when that gets into your plants in your soil, that plant is toast. It just dies. It shrivels up, turns, it gets all yellow leaves and uh, the leaves, it just grows up the, the vine and that plant dies. You can't save it. And that virus sticks around in the soil. This guy is not a welcome sight in the garden. In case you're curious, this is a spotted one, but they also have striped ones. So they're pretty cool looking. They're just nasty. <sighs> Well, here's a considered a bad guy in the garden. This is a hornworm, a small one. First one I've seen this summer, this year at least. I'm sure it won't be the last. If you see this on your tomato plants, you see those little black pellets? And you see, let's see, where should I show you? See this little stem that used to have leaves on it that doesn't anymore? <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a sure sign that you have a hornworm. Here's a bad bug alert. See this guy? That is a Mexican bean beetle. So at first glance it looks it's about the size of a ladybug but they're orange with black dots on them and this is what they do they eat. They will chew on the leaves and their little larvae do voraciously. They will turn leaves into lace. So this is a guy that has taken out my beans I guess two years in a row now. <laughs> so see if maybe I can get a handle on them. I guess I need to start looking for the Mexican bean beetle now. If you want to get a handle on the Mexican bean beetle, you need to flip over every single leaf and look for their eggs. This is what eggs look like of the Mexican bean beetle. Got to break the life cycle, which so far for me has been all but impossible, but fight the good fight. Here are some good guys in the garden. The birds. I have a waterer out side of the garden to keep them happy and in here I'm pretty sure that they are helping a lot to keep my bugs under control. They're welcome here. Of course these are good guys in the garden. The bees. Gotta keep the pollinators happy. Here's another garden critter. Oh there it goes. <laughs> Grasshoppers. To me, they're more of an annoyance than anything else. I don't really think they do too much damage. They probably chew on certain things, so I guess they would probably be considered bad bugs, but eh, we cohabitate. Well, here's a good guy in the garden. However, he is a bit of a nuisance. This is a sweat bee. I don't know what the real name is, but we call them sweat bees. Normally, they don't really do anything, but if you startle them, like if you try and touch them, or they get in one of your crevices as you bend, like your elbow crease and stuff, they will sting and then fly off. So yeah, they're good pollinators, but <laughs> comes at a cost. Sweat bees. This is definitely a bad bug in the garden. This is a squash bug. And, for the record, he has already been squashed. So, he is a dead squash bug. Surprisingly, here is a good bug in the garden. This, I believe... Oh, bye-bye.
I think that was a lightning bug. I'll have to look that up. Either way, I know that was a good bug. There's a bad bug in the garden. This is a June bug. At least I think they're bad. They're big. Pollinators are good guys in the garden. All sorts of bees. Honey bees, but also tons of native bees are so important for pollinating. All our veggies. They are definitely welcome here. Hornworms are really good at camouflaging. You see him? This guy's getting pretty big. There he is. They eat a lot of leaves and they might go on a tomato, but honestly, they're not the worst pest in the garden for tomatoes um, because you can catch them, stay on top of them. The, horn, the army worms that dig into your tomatoes, they will ruin your tomatoes. So to me, those are way worse. These guys, just keep an eye out for them. We try to blue light at night and it does show, but I think if you just pay attention, you could see them in the daytime too. <laughs> no need for a nighttime outing. So I'm going to get this guy off. If I had chickens, they love a good hornworm smack. Here's another bad bug in the garden. This is Mexican bean beetle larva. So see these little yellow guys? They go on the leaves of beans and they do this to them. They turn them into lace and they will decimate a crop. So it's best to try and stay on top of them, which in my book means I squish a lot of little yellow bugs. See if I can save some of these bean plants. Well, here's a bad bug for you. Don't know if I've shown these before. See these little worms? I think they're cabbage moth worms. And this is what they do to, well, these are collards, but they'll do it to kale, collards, broccoli, any of those leafy greens. And you think you've got one, you'll smush it and be done? Think again. This is what happens if you don't stay on top of things. Yeah. That is a lot of worms. Remember how I showed you a sweat bee and I said they were a bit of a nuisance? <laughs> I was not kidding. These are all sweat bees. They are so annoying. I'm getting so many little stings from them. Because if you bend your arm the wrong way or anything, they just go after you. Ah, sweat bees. I know, good guys in the garden, but oh my gosh, what a nuisance. Here's another bug in the garden. That was a... Uh, striped beetle of some sort. I'm not sure if it's a good guy or bad guy. Here's a bad guy in the garden. I think this is an army worm. Or some, don't quote me on that though. Anyway, he's on one of my tomato plants and they will burrow into your tomatoes and ruin them. So this guy's got to go. Oh, and by the way, where there's one, there will definitely be more. They will eat your tomatoes. These are bad guys. These are way worse than the arm, than the hornworms. These do way more destruction. Technically, this is a good guy in the garden. This is a black widow spider. Spiders are great in the garden. You don't want this one to bite you though. That's for sure. So this plant is on its way out, but it's not totally dead yet. So I thought I'd dig, make a slice in here and see what I could find. See, this is rotting, just like from the inside out. It's terrible. And sure enough, there it is. There's the little worm that is doing that damage. 
squash vine borer. Amazing how such a little thing can do so much damage to your plants. Oh well. There you have it. That is just a small sampling of the bugs in my garden. There are a lot more. Good ones, some not so good ones. So we try and find a balance here and uh, live with the bugs. I'll be on the lookout for more bugs to show you. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and just keep growing. I missed it. I'm so bad at this. Bye-bye.